Hi, I'm Dr. Heather Gate. I am the clinical manager at Michael's House Women's Center in Palm Springs, California. Something that's really neat about coming to an all-women's treatment facility, like at Michael's House, we have an all-female staff, which provides the safety and the security of being able to form relationships with other women. And it's a very unusual experience because most women, generally speaking, don't get the opportunity to be able to form and bond and have trusting um, female relationships. Once discovering traumatic experiences, in a woman's life, we can feel depleted and defective. It's just really important to be surrounded by people who are able to support and recognize how resilient you really are. It's not the same experience for everybody because we tailor the treatment to the needs of the client. That's what client-centered care is all about, and that's what good care is all about, in my opinion, and that's what we do here. Therapy is a huge part of the program and a very important piece of the program. Um, I think a lot of people come into treatment and they're kind of programmed looking for that external fix to kind of um, fix the way they're feeling and that's kind of old behavior. That's what, what people were doing when, when you're out there drinking, using, no matter what substance it is, you're trying to change the way you're feeling. Here at Michael's House we try to get to the root of why, what is the problem and, and that's what's really good about therapy is what caused it, does it stem back through childhood? Um, is it something maybe in adulthood, but what is causing you to seek out something to change the way that you feel? We have a lot of fun. Um, sometimes we're really irreverent and sometimes we're really serious because it is a terminal illness. People die from this illness. Right? But we have a lot of laughter and we get to see the lights come on. I mean, that's the big part. The good news is that you can stay in recovery. The bad news is you will get old. One of the scariest things to do is to ask for help. And if you've been thinking about getting help or you've been thinking about trying to find help for your family member, I would encourage you to do it now rather than later. Because the more time that you wait, the more time that the same things you're concerned about right now can continue. When I think about addiction and alcoholism, I think about the isolation, and the loneliness, and the fear, and the hopelessness. And if you're feeling any of those things right now, I, it might be time to come to treatment. Because there is hope. There is a way to live clean and sober, right? And to have that joy that's most likely missing from your life right now. So call. Get more information.